Good day, everyone. Today, we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using computer. Let's have first the advantages of using the computer. Basically, we have five advantages of using the computer. We have the speed, storage, reliable, consistent, and communicate. Let's have the first one, the speed. Computer operates on data and commands at incredibly fast speed. In one second, billions or trillions of operations are done by the computer. Blink your eye, and in that instant, computers may have done so many things already. The speed of computers are getting faster and faster. Second is the storage. Computers can store enormous amount of data and information in their memory. This information are easily transferred and used anytime and everywhere. Information are easily and cheaply shared and stored. Storage capacities of computers are generally getting larger, physically smaller, and cheaper. Third one is reliable. Modern computers rarely break down and when they do, they are easily repaired. They could operate the whole day, months, and years without interruption. In some applications, new methods and components have no more moving parts, making them less prone to wear and tear. The fourth one is consistent. If you input the same data into the computer using the same program, it will give you the same result all the time. If you input incorrect data and program, it will also give you incorrect results. This being known as the computer phrase, the garbage in, garbage out. And last one, we have the communicate. People can connect with others by the use of computers. Computers have made it possible to talk and see other people cheaply over the internet. That's, it. That's the advantages of using the computer. Let's have now the disadvantages of using the computer. We have five disad we have five disadvantages of using the computer. We have the safety and security, health risks, environment, use of power, the privacy violation. Let's have the safety and security. People have to be careful in sharing photos in personal information on the computer and internet. There are people with evil intent or bad intent and have caused harm to a lot of people using information taken from the internet. Examples are stolen and fraudulent credit cards. Next one is the health risk. Long and improper use of the computer can lead to injuries and hazards to the user. The pain or injury may affect the eyes, hands, wrists, necks, and back. Some injuries may require surgery and some may become permanent. Third one is the environment. Old computers must be... Next one is the environment. All computers must be disposed of properly. Computer parts could release toxic or dangerous materials into the environment. Heat generated by the computer may be small, but if there are so many, could, it could... could it could contribute to global warming, putting additional danger to an already fragile environmental condition. Next one, or the fourth one, is the use of power. Computers need electricity to run. Why? Computers mount of electronic or electric computer. This is a requirement for expense. Also, your computer can be using people to take advantage in many situations. It's a bad of use of computer. So let's proceed now to the commandments of computer ethics. That's the advantages and disadvantages of using computer. Let's proceed to the 10 commandments of computer ethics. As we have previously learned, computers are found almost everywhere. Guidelines and rules are needed in the appropriate use of computer technology. There are both advantages and disadvantages in the use of computers. The Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics is meant as a guide to the right way of using the computer. 
The Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics was written by Dr. Ramon C. Barkin in 1992 for the Computer Ethics Institute. Ramon C. Barkin stated that it is a means to create a set of standards to guide and instruct people in the ethical use of computers. The Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics copies the style of the Ten Commandments from the Bible which use Thou shalt and Thou shalt not style of writing. First Commandment Thou shalt not use a computer to harm other people. Second, Thou shalt not interfere with other people's computer work. Third, Thou shalt not snoop around in other people's files. Fourth, Thou shalt not use a computer to steal. Fifth, Thou shalt not use a computer to bear false witness. Sixth, Thou shalt not use or copy software for which you have not paid. Seven, Thou shalt not use other people's computer resources without authorization. Eight, Thou shalt not appropriate other people's intellectual output. Nine, Thou shalt think about the social consequences of the program you write. And last one, Thou shalt use a computer in ways that show consideration and respect. So that's the Ten Commandments and the different advantages and disadvantages of computer ethics. On our next lesson, we will discuss the history of computers. Thank you and God bless.